Okay, so now we got Earth dash W one. So, oh my God, where are we going? Ah, uh, oh, they're all in the wrong order. Oh God, okay, this could be a pain. All right, uh, remember, please put them in the correct order. That's one thing we always need. Right. In this universe, the Romans actually discovered America and started up a colony. The American colony became disconnected from Europe after the Roman Empire fell. The colony became Terra Nova, and after an accountant with Leif Erison once again became aware of Euro or European and Sars invasion of the rest of the world. They were the first ones to discover multi-universe travel, thus reimagined designing themselves as Earth One. Interesting. Okay. Next up we got Earth 14. Over here. We should be able to navigate this fairly easy, actually. So, another version of Earth. As um, as a result of the Great Depression, a group known as the Silver Legion takes over America after a civil war and joins the side of the Axis in World War II. After America had a war with Japan over South America, the Earth became a split in half with Germany taking the East and. Okay. Taking the East and the Legion of America take the West. Okay, got you. Okay, so that's if Germany. So effective Germany and Japan won the Second World War version. Okay. Interesting concept. I mean, it would have been, you know, it, it, it just a, that, and that's probably one of the biggest what if questions if that did happen because the world would be a very different place probably. Um, next up, Earth 033. This is our universe. Me, you, and everyone you know and love lives here. No need to explain further. So this is the real Earth. Okay. So these are so these are like all alternate realities of historic events. I quite like this. This is quite interesting actually. So we've got the Romans if they had survived. Which like then we've had if the um, the Nazis and the Japanese won the Second World War. Interesting. Very very interesting. Or Imperial Japan, I should say. So the Nazis and the Imperial Japan. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Earth 42. So destroyed. In this universe, dolphins became the dominant species instead of humans. Due to them becoming more intelligent, they became very advanced and eventually began covering the land with water. Sadly, this Earth was destroyed because of some aliens wanting to build a hyperspace bypass through the solar system. Okay. Next up, we've got Earth 65. Earth 65. Over here. In this universe, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs never hit, causing evolution to go in a completely different path. This uh, preterative humanity from never ever existing. But a species of bird-like dinosaur have taken our place with them being in the Stone Age. Okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting. If the asteroid the dinosaurs never hit. Earth 076. In this universe, oh my god, okay. So in this universe, the Cuban Missile Crisis went horribly wrong, caused a nuclear outbreak. So that was in the 1960s. That's where um, the Soviets were storing missiles in Cuba. So obviously not too far away from the coast of Florida. And that was the closest point to the Third World War in history. The closest, closest point of tensions, the highest point in the Cold War to a Third World War. And this is what happened if that did happen. So, after the dust settled 35 years later, Oh, sorry, so let me start again. In this universe, the Cuban Missile Crisis went horribly wrong, which caused a nuclear war. So that would have been World War Three. After the dust settles, 35 years later, new countries emerged as world powers. They are the Commonwealth of Australia, Union of South Africa, Empire of Brazil, and the Swiss Kingdom. There are still large fields of radiation, but most of Earth is healed. Okay, so you can see... Not looking good. You see the Gulf of Mexico area here. It's been destroyed. Let's get a full look at this. I'm quite interested to see this. So you can see lots of flooding. There's a bit of action here. Europe doesn't look too great either. Let's have a little... Uh... So the United Kingdom is gone. Lots of Spain and Portugal have been smashed. Uh, bits of France. Italy's gone. You see the, the Black Sea area, the Mediterranean. This area is all opened up as well. You can see areas of Saudi Arabia, the Middle East here. They've all been destroyed. Not looking too great. North Pole's spread more. Okay. Very, very interesting concept. As we see a bit of the USA as well, that's been compromised. South America's looking pretty much in one piece. Australia, a little bit of a water increase there. See the Japanese area, it's quite flooded as well. India, that's definitely had some, uh, some of the water flood over as well. Interesting, okay. Okay. Earth 
Okay, next up we got Earth 101. Earth 101, uh, where's 101? There it is. So what is this? A watermelon. I was trying to find an Earth here, but I found a watermelon. Okay. Next up we've got Earth 132. Hmm. In this universe, Earth was kicked out of the solar system at some point in history. It is unknown when this happened, but it's estimated to have been around 1600 due to the existence of famous Renaissance artwork in the ruins of an ice surface. Okay. Next up we've got Earth 342. Over here. In this universe, Theia barely hit Earth, causing the two planets to enter a binary orbit with one another. Though Earth is more brown and less massive in the universe, life still exists in the oceans. So if Earth and Theia hadn't collided so much, you would have Earth would have turned out completely different. Therefore, completely different looking world. Okay. So next up we got Hatra E3300. What is that? There it is. Nicknamed Bizarro World is a is an universe where everything is opposite from Earth 033. Stars make planets cold instead of hot, and Earth's elevation and tidal tilt are reversed. Okay. So it's all inverted. Interesting. Then we got Earth 9999. Here we go. Ooh. The Earth of this universe is in the process of being terraformed by aliens called the Villas from a planet similar to Titan, almost in a red dwarf star. Humanity has seen been wiped out by the aliens along with any other species that live on Earth. Okay, so it looks like since they mentioned Titan, this is liquid methane. I'm guessing they're putting in the oceans. Okay, they make it look like Titan. Next up, we've got Dreamscape. I saw this one. I don't know what this was. Hmm. Whenever someone dreams, they will end up here. This dimension is powered by dreams with a very landscape being determined by whoever is there dreaming. A blue sun lights up this world and is inhabited by a peaceful, both sentient and non sentient. A species that can be found here in the nightmare scape, but also known as a dream waker. Blue sun. Okay. Interesting. Wall of the Ferment. Where's that? What is this? Also known as the gates, as it is the only to get through the ferment. This dimension is where people go when they die, or to be judged in order to determine whether they go to Empyrean or the Abyss. It is a white desert and a grey cloudless sky and a massive city in the middle, which is run by angels who judge the dead. Okay, that's the size wherever you go somewhere, okay. Big ring system. Imperium, also known by us as heaven, and is the good afterlife for the dead, and contains four major realms. That's this, okay. It's a gas giant. So you've got the Land of Angels. Nice blue. Then you've got Elysium here. Asgard. And then there's Purgatory. Ooh. Okay, so the Land of Angels. Let's go to that one first. Because I didn't realise that one had a description because they were in a different order again. So, the Land of Angels. This realm... Is the home of the angels who maintain the city of judgment and the uh Empyrean. It is a land of blue plants and cloudy skies with floating cities up about. Souls of the dead are not allowed to come here. Then we got Elysium. This place is a place of blessed filled with large fields of flowers and plains. Many of the souls here live in peace and harmony. If someone living were to end up here, they would not want to leave. Yep. Uh, next up we've got Asgard. The realm is filled with great forests and jungles with golden cities and oceans. Their oceans are made up of an elixir which makes someone godlike. Their souls have tried to say that they are gods from Earth and other planet mythologies. This caused many disputes among them and the angels. Okay, And lastly, Purgatory. So, the realm is filled with great forests and jungles with gold. Oh, no, hang on, I'm reading the wrong one. Um, where souls go to get purified by a climb a massive mountain which makes up most of the realm. Which is in turn surrounded by an ocean. After they're purified, they can go to the other. Okay, so they can go to the other ones. Okay, so that's if your soul can be saved. I'm guessing because I did see one called the Abyss, and I'm wondering what that is. And there's one called Nightmare Escape. So what's that? That's this one. 
Where whenever you have a nightmare, you end up here. This dimension is the polar opposite of dreamscape and is also powered by dreams. A large blood moon hags in the starless sky. The land is filled with burnt trees and lakes of blood. Violet monsters roam the land seeking for anyone who's dreaming here. Then there's the blood moon. So next up we got Abyss, also known as Hell. Ah, so this is the yeah, this is where you can't go if if you if you're too bad for the purgatory, so you can't even be redeemed, you go here. Ooh, ho, ho, the Abyss, a gas giant. Probably a good, probably, you know, a, ja a gas giant would be inferior, good, you know, a, would make a good representation of this, really, because, you know, you get lost in the gas giant forever, you're not coming out of it. Once you're below those dark clouds, there's no light penetrates that area, and you're going to be going down for quite a while in there. Whenever you have a night, uh, so all soon, so, 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 it was originally a prison for primordials, but now in a bad afterlife, the souls are dead and contains five major realms. So this has five, so this has its own ones as well. So... So first up, we got this one. Cor Cor Corcutus. This show is a watery, icy landscape in which souls either drown or being embedded in the ice itself. Well, the ones who drown are going so by hundreds of meters, uh, hundreds of meters below the water, a temperature below freezing. Okay, so an icy death. You got the city of Dis. It's home to the demons and Oni. This realm is a massive city, but unlike the city of judgment, there is no empty space. Demons and Oni leave from this realm in order to punish the souls of the dead for home enjoyment. Okay, big Aussie, big population. Mm -mm. So, Jigoku. This land here is bad. There are no plants or animals, but there are oceans of blood and lava in which souls are put into. The sky here is overcast because there has been no sunlight. Valley of Greed and Gluttony. In this realm, as the name suggests, it's for people who were greedy or gluttonous. The, the cloudy sky is puke yellow and the land is muddy as it constantly rains here. There are oceans here, but they're made of molten gold, meaning you wouldn't want to go swimming in it. But if you're already dead... Ooh. And then lastly, Limbo. I'm guessing this is the worst one. It's the only place in the abyss that does not have anyone being tortured. The realm is a grey sky and sun, but other than that, it's very similar to Earth. The souls of humans have made a town here called Earth Town. Interesting. Limbo. So I'm guessing you're just stuck here then? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, leaving that on now. Now we've got Wall of the Void. This wall exists at the very bottom of the abyss. It separates um, what is known from what is unknown. Existing beyond this is the void. No one's ever tried to surpass it. So you've got that inner outer asteroid belt. And then lastly, there is a world further out called Void. It's an infinite nothingness exists beyond... Oh, what is that? Like a planet? Some sort of all blacked out planet with an orange line. Infinite nothingness exists beyond the multiverse. A group of beings known as the primordials who originate from it and predate most of the multiverse. Most primordials are imprisoned in the nightmare, scape and abyss, with the ladder being originally created for imprisoning them. It is unknown how powerful primordials are, but the angels claim that only one of them could pose a threat to the entire multiverse. Okay. Interesting. So that's pretty. You know, this is an interesting concept for sure. I mean, it's obviously got some uh, things that some people may not like, I guess. But um, it's interesting nonetheless. So let us know what you think down below in the comments. I mean, alternate realities. You know, if history did this, history did that. It's an interesting concept. Obviously, it's got the stuff about you know the heaven and hell side of things. So take that as you will, really, as well. But you know, it's an interesting concept nonetheless. Let us know what you think down below um, in the comments about this. Actually, because you know, I thought it was quite interesting um, with the different alternate reality Earths. I mean, that's an interesting concept, you know, if history was different, you know, this and that. You know, there's, there's hundreds of possibilities of, you know, alternate history, you know, if, if things. Because, I mean, obviously there was a Second World War. What about the First World War? Could have been a difference there. For instance, obviously they mentioned the Great Depression in the 1920s America. You had the Romans, obviously the Second World War. You had the Cold War with the Missile Crisis. You had all that. You know, but there could be things going back to, all the way to, back into the... Um, 10th century even before that it could be there's a lot of moments there that you know what if like the eubonic plague never died out you know things like that there could be there could be loads and loads of possibilities um with stuff like this so you know in, you know interesting stuff for sure but yeah let us know what you think down below in the comments and again massive thank you to the creator of this system soul free for sending this in it was definitely a very interesting concept so yeah let us know what you think down below in the comments about that if you enjoyed this video let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video and also help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers with that, we'll send on everyone. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.